Hi friends, our today's topic is simple interest part 1 and in this video we are going to solve some of the questions which has been already asked in the bank exams and this kind of questions will repeatedly ask in upcoming exams as well. So let's understand the concept of simple interest first and then try to solve the questions. So in case of simple interest, what actually happens is, suppose you are investing 100 rupees in the bank. Suppose this is State Bank of India. So you are investing 100 rupees in State Bank of India and the rate of interest per year you will get is suppose 10 percent and you are investing your money for one year. So after one year, bank will give you how much of money? See after one year if you go to bank, bank will give you 100 rupees, your 100 rupees, right? And plus the interest, right? Because bank is keeping your money for how many years? One year and bank has to pay 10 percent rate of interest. So after one year, bank will give you 100 rupees plus 10 percent of 100 rupees, right? So after one year, bank will give you 100 plus 10 means 1 not 10 rupees bank will give you right so whatever money you invest so here 100 rupees you invested so that becomes our principal right okay and what is the rate here rate is 10 percent bank will give you 10 percent rate of interest per year and what is the time you invested for one year right and after one year bank will give you 100 rupees is nothing but principal and then 10 rupees is interest and the total becomes your amount right so after one year whatever money banks give you that is nothing but amount right and this amount will have your principal plus interest right if it is a simple interest then this interest will become simple interest right Okay, and now we have a formula for simple interest. Simple interest is equal to P into R into T by 100, where P is equal to principal, R is equal to rate, and T is equal to the time for which you have invested the money, and 100 is already 100, right? Now, what is the principal here in the question? See, in the question, they are telling what would be simple interest obtained on an amount of 6535. Right. So how much money you are investing? You are investing 6535 that becomes your principal and then what is the rate? At the rate of 10 percent and how many years you are investing for? 6 years and they are asking what? Simple interest. Right. What would be the simple interest? So they are asking simple interest. Now the same thing will put on the formula. So simple interest is equal to P into R into T and divide by 100. C10 will cancel 10 and then you multiply and divide it by 10. So 6 into 5 is 30, 3 will be in hand. 6 into 3 is 18, 18 plus 3 is 21, 2 will be in hand. 6 into 5 is 30 and 2, 3 will be in hand. 6 into 6 is 36 plus 3 is equal to 3920 divided by 10, right? So this 0 and 0 will cancel each other and the simple interest after 6 here will be nothing but 3921 right in the same question if they ask amount in the same question if they ask amount so amount will be what amount will be your principal whatever you have invested right and plus the interest whatever bank will give you right so it will become 6535 plus 3921 so 5 plus 1 is 6 3 plus 2 is 5 9 5 14 and 6 3 9 1 10 so this becomes your amount which bank will give you after six years right so there is a difference between amount simple interest and principal right and one thing you have to keep in mind is whatever money you are investing whatever money you are investing that becomes your principal right question number two question number two is asked in andhra bank clerk exams 2008 so let's try to solve the question so they're asking what will be the simple interest so you have to calculate simple interest on an amount of 8930 see here they are telling on an amount of rupees 8930. So this amount is not the principal plus interest. So don't get confused with these terms. Why? Because see whatever money you are going to invest. So what will be simple interest obtained on an amount? So whatever money you are going to invest. So this amount you are going to invest. See whatever money you are going to invest that is nothing but your 
principle right see that they may tell you in different different words like obtained an amount of obtained on a sum of so they can use different different terms but what you have to keep in mind whatever money you are going to invest that is nothing but your principal right and rate is what eight percent and time is what five years so again use the formula simple interest is equal to p into r into t by 100 where principal is equal to 8930 rate is equal to eight percent and time is equal to five divided by 100 so this will go by 20 times this 0 and 0 will cancel each other 2 4 ja. so 4 into 3 is 12 4 into 9 is 36 plus 1 is 37 3 4 into 8 is 32 plus 3 is 35 so 3 5 7 2 option third will be the correct answer for this question right thanks for watching the video